listening to a podcast called uh, Reply All, and I talked to you about it, and then we started writing it. Do you remember? Remind me of the Reply All episode. It we're big was, Reply All fans. Yeah, we are indeed. Uh, they were talking about uh, the crazy, like, when Roseanne was tweeting all those, like, conspiracy theory things, oh, okay, yeah. and how they think, like, there's a whole conspiracy around... Um, Trump playing four-dimensional chess and like actually just fronting like he's really stupid but actually he's like a maniacal super genius which is like my favorite theory like there are right-wing people who support him who literally think that his idiocy is like a crazy plan Mm. that he has always had to like play dumb and then be doing all these like genius things behind the scenes and we were talking about it and um wrote it. Yeah. I'm getting green with this private head. That was the last last song we wrote for the album. And I feel like it happened kinda we wrote it kinda fast pretty fast for our standards. Yeah, yeah. Um like in a night. I also like Dylan Thomas, the poet, a lot. I'll just say that. And I was also I was curious to <clears> where <throat> Connor got that idea for the Dylan Tal- Thomas lyric. And then I was walking around the studio and there's a Dylan Thomas <laughs> book like sitting on the counter. It's like, oh, cool. Yeah. So Nick and I are real old friends. He's 274 this year. <laughs> um, so I haven't been around that long, but mm-hmm. um, yeah, <clears throat> we've been friends since the early aughts then, haven't we? The er- 1800s yeah since the early 1800s he's amazing and yeah when we were making the record um i guess kind of by happenstance i had he had he's also been living in la on and off and kind of talking to him about just getting together to hang out and we were making i think it was actually domino's last song on the record well one of the songs i was like oh i'd be i could kind of hear him playing on it and i was like Phoebe, what do you think? And she's like, that sounds cool. And called him up and he was over there like the next day or something. And, and even when writing the song, Dylan Thomas, I was listening to like my voice memos earlier and there's a place where you're like, and a guitar solo. <laughs> so my friend Michelle, who's in Japanese Breakfast, directed, she, well, she wrote the treatment and directed it. And uh, I love her music videos, so we... She, yeah, she was yeah. amazing. To, it was like a pretty crazy like two-day shoot, like a lot of people and a lot of moving parts. And I didn't really know. I mean, I'd read the treatment, but it's like one of those things when you read those things, it's hard to picture for me like how they're going to turn out. But yeah, Michelle did an amazing... Job. My like first grade music teacher is screaming upside down in it too. We we shot it in LA, so it's a lot of my friends, and then our friend Meg Duffy, who's Hand Habits, she's in it as well. Um, yeah, tons of friends. Yeah, it's basically like we stumble upon a a house, or we no, we get a brochure in the mail, mm-hmm. Phoebe and I, and then we go to the house. High jinks ensue, you know. <laughs> Butler answers the door, and yeah. Um, I want. I don't want to give it away. Tune in. <laughs> Tune in. <laughs>